When you're thinking about blues rock, you're probably thinking about two electric guitars, drums, bass, perhaps keyboard player, but not about this instrument, acoustic guitar. But actually, it's more than enough to play smoking hot, cool, groovy blues rock. And after watching this lesson, you will be able to do it. And let's listen to what we're going to learn today. As you can guess, in this video I'll show you how to play this music piece. Not only you will be able to play it from start to finish, you will also learn this really cool strumming pattern that you can use in many songs, this iconic riffs that are once again used in 90% of blues rock songs. And I'm also gonna show you a couple of cool tricks to spice things up. Not a lot of people know about them, I'm talking about stuff like... And without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, we're gonna play this blues rock in the key of A. This is probably the best key for music like this, because we have nice open strings, we can play a lot of cool riffs here. Here's our main riff, and it's based on the A5 power chord. We play only these two notes. But now, very important tip, we don't play it like this. No, we play it like this. We mute all the strings around. I mute low E with my thumb and everything below D string is muted with my index finger. I hit all six strings, but only this two ring. Before you continue, make sure that you get this down, because if you play like... It sounds fine, but... Not what we're trying to achieve here. But now let's talk about our strumming pattern. It's played in this funky shuffle groove. Before you even begin playing, catch this rhythm. And pay attention to accents. Don't play it just like... No. And your hand is moving. When I'm playing this riff, I'm not playing like... No, it's always in this groove. So, let's go. We start with this chord then. Play fourth frets with our ring finger on the D. Then, five, four, Back to two, and our A string is ringing throughout all these shapes. And now it's really important to keep this groove going and add these muted notes in between. Here's what I'm doing here. playing muted notes in between all these chords. It just sounds better then. And you can play it however you like once you catch this groove, you know? Sometimes you can skip them, sometimes you can add even more of them. So, after we come back here, we play fret 3 and 4 with hammer on, on the A string. And once again, I don't play just this string. Everything is muted here. So I hit like three bass strings, but only A string rings. Like 
Okay, here are a couple of variations that you can do here. Use this chord. This is a so-called Keith Richards chord. It's called A6 sus4. You just uh, bar the same major. Use your middle finger on fret 3 of the B string and ring finger on the fret 4 of the D. It works great with blues rock songs and here's how we can use it here. I'm only giving you the materials, it's up to you how to assemble them. But if you want to play what I played in the beginning, one time I played with this hammer on, and the second time, then our third riff is the same as the first one. And here's another cool trick. So. This, there are two shapes here. We slide to the fifth fret of the D and play fret 5 on the B. And you know you can you can either strum or pick, it doesn't matter. Sounds nice both ways. I'm doing something in between. I'll add my high E ring. We start here and our second shape is fret 4 on the G, fret 3 on the B. Okay, now we know how to play the main riff and before I show you the rest of this piece, be sure to check the link in the description and the pinned comment. You will find our course, how to play chords without pauses and buzzing. If you are playing it and you get this buzzing if you are not satisfied with your overall sound then check this course out it will help you i can guarantee it our next chord is the d chord and we play the same riff just one string higher we start with the d5 chord once again mutes everything it's a little more tricky to mute it you gotta use your thumb to mute two strings now but actually you can leave a string open, I don't know, it's just too wide, too loud uh, for my taste, even though that's what we're trying to achieve here, but still. I'm trying to be a little more clean here, so I mute both of these lowest strings. And we play the same stuff. You can either use your pinky here, or Move your hand and slide to the fret 4 on the B and fret 3 on the high E. So one time I play with hammer on and then and then we go back to the A. We play one riff as normal and the second time we reach here and we play this short leg and arrive to the E chord. Here's what I do here. I just strum this E chord, nothing fancy here. I start with the low E, then do this hammer on with my index finger. Up, up, down, down. Then we gotta return to the D chord, but instead of playing it here, I play this uh, D7 
just to spice things up a little bit. And then I'm playing the same move that we played on the A chord. But now I'm doing it one string higher, so it's G and E. And we go back to the A. Play it one time. Then third fret on the low E with the micro band. And we arrive to the E power chord to properly finish things up. So uh, turn around and the end of uh, this piece sounds like this. Just strum it however you want and back to A. Now that you know everything, try to play all these riffs and different grooves. Try to play it in classic. Try to play it as a straight rock. And so on and so forth. And let me play this whole blues rock from start to finish slowly. One, two, three, four. I really hope you didn't have much trouble learning this piece and if you want to learn something in the same vein then check this lesson out, it's Cool Blues Rock by Motorhead, I'm sure you'll dig it.